In the previous video, introducing the basics of writing nodes in C++, you may have noticed that there isn't an obvious place to put a loop in our node. What if our node needs to repeatedly run some calculation or take some action without an external trigger? Well, that's where ROS timers give us a solution. A ROS timer registers a callback with the ROS event system to be called at some regular interval. This gives us the same behavior as a rate-limited loop without having to fight against the ROS event system. Let's add a timer to our minimal node from the last video so that it keeps logging a message as long as it's running. To do this, we'll open up our first node.cpp file and make some modifications to our node class. And here's our modified node file. We've started by adding a new member to our class called timer. This holds a pointer to a timer base object from RCLCPP. We initialize that with the create wall timer function. This function takes in a duration from the standard chrono library, and then a reference to the callback function, which we have bound to this object's timer callback function. That member function is defined below. It takes in no parameters and returns nothing. All it does is use the info logging macro to print the message, hello. With those two changes made, we can now build our workspace with Culkin build and run our node. And as we can see, once a second, it will print out a new hello message through the info log. That's all it takes to add timers to nodes. Timers are a great tool for scheduling tasks in ROS.